Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Osteo, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I want to give you an introduction to the Cash Flow Planner tool in QuickBooks Online. And it is one of the items that is part of the What's New test for the research. So just wanted to show you this. And I actually think this is pretty neat because there's a lot you can do with this, even with maybe limited knowledge of doing forecasting. But basically, it is in most all QuickBooks Online company files. You find it by going over here to the cash flow link, and there's two tabs. There's the overview tab, which is what I'm in now, and the planner tab, which we'll go into shortly. Now, in the cash flow tab, you can actually see two views. You can see money in and out, and then you can also see the cash balance. And not only does it show you what's in the forecast based on previous history of data, it also makes some projections based on past history. And obviously anything that you need to know about this that's real important is that it only considers the linked accounts in here, including the credit card account or any other accounts that are connected, not any accounts that are not connected. Also, you have to remember that this information is only as good as the information fed into the system. So if you still have any outside transactions, like in the banking center, it may skew your results a little bit. But with that said, I'm going to show you basically how this works. Now, as you can see, I've got the screen set up for six months, uh, including six, three months in the past and three months uh, projected in the future. And you can actually change this if you want to. But I want to use six months because I am using my bookkeeping test file and it seems to work best in this mode here. So when we're looking at today, you can actually see what they're predicting as money in and money out for this. Now this is actually showing our uh, money in with the green and the money out and the net change for all that. Now you can also click on where it says cash balance here and look basically, like I said, this is all, everything from today is showing history back, back before that and then projection for, for um, going into the future. And there's ways that you can manipulate this for future projections. You can go over here to the planner and the planner, what it does is it helps you to kind of uh, put in some different scenarios and assumptions in here. And what is really great about this is that it does not affect anything that's in your book. So when you do this, this is just for you kind of like a sandbox. So basically, this is what it's going to do is it's going to pull in a few things to get you set up if you've never used it before. And again, this is a safe place to play with the numbers. It's not going to affect the results of QuickBooks. So if you go down here below and it talks about there's overdue transactions and then you, you would need to update this. But just so you can see, you can go down here and look at things that are already in here as far as plan. This is stuff that is things that are actually need to be taken care of. And you can add an item, say like if you have an extraordinary expense coming up that's not included in here yet, you can go ahead and click on add an item. You can go ahead and let's say you received a abnormal payment from somebody, maybe a past due bill from two years ago. Let's say you're scheduled to receive that on the 4th and this is a money in. We can just say that this is an unexpected windfall and maybe the amount was like $2,500 and so this is when you save this on here it's going to show up in your list as something that was added because uh, it's got the pencil mark and you can actually go in there and edit that the other thing that you can do is if you have a minimum uh, bill, and you can actually edit these as well, I believe you can actually go in here and say like, instead of paying the 66.57, maybe you want to pay an additional, maybe you want to put that uh, unexpected windfall to use by uh, paying down your credit card debt, maybe 
add another thousand dollars to that so uh, or make that an even thousand dollars so let's go ahead and change that from 6657 to one thousand dollars and let's say that this bill is due on the fifth so we're going to go ahead and pay that right here and we're going to go ahead and update that and even though we did update that it's still showing as plan because that was something that uh, came through from the banking center and this is actually an, another payment that we click on it this is something else that, and, and say like you know we we've, we've uh, decided that we want to remove that because we're just going to do the thousand dollars instead of that so we're going to go ahead and remove that and again it gives you a warning it's not going to delete anything in other parts of quickbooks which is so beautiful about this so as you go through here and and do these kind of things and see what what you can do you can actually see where some of these uh, projections are going to change and and we've got the cash balance in here but we can look at money in and money out and see how that's affected when any of this changes so let's see if we we can change something else here that may affect let let's say let's change an unexpected windfall to maybe double that amount just just so you can see how that is being planned instead of receiving it on the fourth we might receive it maybe on the 15th or something or actually let's say the 13th since that's on a friday let's change this to 5000 and let's see what happens so you can just go through here and you can see how how the money in is changed and then the money out will change if we was to update any of these let's let's change this chase bill to let's see let's put two thousand towards it instead of and you, like i said you can um and what what is great about this is that it's not going to affect anything in quickbooks this is just for you to kind of play around with and you can see where it it updates the projections so obviously if you had more accurate information in here your projections are going to be more accurate and you can also look at it from this point of view as well so anyway i uh, certainly hope that this helps you today uh, if nothing else play around with it see what you think about it and you know maybe give us some of your feedback in the comments below and let us know what you think anyway i hope you have a wonderful week y'all take care everybody and we will see you soon Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.